Bruce once said, "I fear not the man who has practiced ten thousand kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick ten thousand times." In Christian life, being disciplined means staying steady in following Jesus, not just. when we feel like it but all the time this helps us grow stronger in our faith jesus told his followers if you stick to what i say you are really my disciples the person who is disciplined works steadily instead of doing multiple tasks half heartedly he focuses on one task at a time doing it well through practice this discipline is not just about following rule it is about changing yourself from within with the help of god look at people like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos they are successful because they stick to their goals with discipline but not everyone finds it easy to do this in their own lives even though it's important for Christians to do when you are not feeling motivated you might struggle to get things done well even if you want to on good days when you are pumped up you do your task but on bad days it's tough but if you practice self discipline it will change everything it will increase your self confidence help you to develop art of controlling your mind and you will become an expert in that work so let's talk about how to build self discipline there is a saying that a journey of 1000 miles begin with the first step towards becoming self discipline you will have to work every day and also stay away from things like distractions keep a distance from such things that cause distractions in the middle of important work set your goals this will help you know what you have to achieve with this you will remain very clear in your mind make a to do list that lets you know what task you need to complete throughout the day and reward yourself at the end many people have the misconception that discipline means bondage whereas the truth is that discipline is the only way to free us from every bondage without discipline we are lost shattered disorganized and slaves to the things that allow us to do nothing and keep us busy with ourselves You can also try the 2 minute hack which I have been using for the past 2 years and it has completely changed my life. When you are faced with a task you don't feel like doing just focus on the very first 2 minutes of it. For example If you need to write an article 
tell yourself you just write the first paragraph if you want to read your bible commit to reading for 2 minutes when it comes to working out put on your shoes and start stretching the key is to only think about those first 2 minutes after you have done that you can reevaluate often once you get started you will keep going but if you still don't feel like continuing after 2 minutes give yourself permission to stop guilt free i have found this wonders to get over that initial hump when i am feeling unmotivated breaking it down into tiny 2 minutes commitment make it feel much more manageable and most of the time i end up doing more than 2 minutes anyway once i build some momentum so the next time you catch yourself saying i don't feel like it try the 2 minute hack just focus on a small start and you may surprise yourself by how much you accomplish this little trick has helped me stay consistent with all kind of goals even when i don't feel like sticking to them second is learn from others learning from the mistakes of others is a valuable lesson that can save us time and effort as enolor resolved said learn from the mistakes of others you can't live long enough to make them all yourself it is essential to keep in touch with our seniors who can provide us with valuable insights and warn us about potential pitfalls we can also learn from books podcast and other resources that discuss why and how failure occur by learning from others we can avoid repeating the same mistakes and advance more quickly in our endeavors it is crucial to celebrate learning and view mistakes as opportunities for growth and feedback we can effect effectively learn from others mistakes by researching history listening to others and being open minded as intelligent people we can learn from the mistakes other make and avoid suffering the negative consequences of those mistakes by observing failures being analytical we can learn valuable lessons that will help us avoid making the same mistakes in conclusion learning from the mistakes of others is a smart way of life that can keep us ahead of the game and help us achieve our goals more efficiently the third is the discipline on waiting on god the discipline of waiting is an important aspect of faith that can help us grow in our relationship with god waiting can be difficult but it is an opportunity to exercise our faith and trust in god we must not allow our fleeting emotions to dedicate our relationship with jesus but instead trust him and remain patient and faithful 
वेटिंग इज ए स्पिरिचुअल डिसिप्लिन दैट कैन हेल्प अस लर्न ओबीडियंस एंड पेशेंस एंड इट इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लिसन टू गॉड्स वॉइस थ्रू हिज वर्ड एंड हिज होली स्प्रिट वी कैन सेट गोल्स फॉर अवर सेल्फ एंड टेक केयर ऑफ अवर फिजिकल एंड मेंटल हेल्थ डूरिंग टाइम्स ऑफ वेटिंग अल्टीमेटली वेटिंग कैन लीड टू ए डीपर एंड मोर इंटीमेट रिलेशनशिप विद गॉड एज वी लर्न टू ट्रस्ट हिम मोर फुल्ली